What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Glamour Team 4 Series 2 that also features Life Orb Fluttermane, and then you got the Don Dozo and Tasugiri combo. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. We're closing in on 20,000 subscribers. Cannot wait to hit that milestone. So if you are not yet subscribed, get on top of that. Get on top of that. But we got King Gambit here to get us started here with today's team preview. King Gambit's in the top left-hand corner. And this one's defiant with this old vest like a normal King Gambit. And then with Terra Blast, Iron Head, Kowtow Cleave, and Sucker Punch. I really am excited to use this King Gambit, considering we have Terra Blast and we can Terra into Fairy type, so that can definitely throw off some Dragon type Pokemon. Maybe we could just rip on them without them even knowing, because I would not expect a Fairy type King Gambit to just drop a Terra Blast into me. So, cannot wait to use that one and get rocking with that Pokemon. Second guy is going to be our Don Dozo with Unaware and the Leftovers, Wave Crash, Order Up, Protect, and EQ, nothing you guys haven't seen before. Third Pokemon is going to be Don Dozo's best friend. It is going to be Tasugiri with Commander and a Choice Scarf as item. Draco Meteor, Muddy Water, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and Dragon Pulse for our final move. Fourth Pokemon is going to be our heavy special attacker. It is going to be Life Orb Fluttermane. Fluttermane already hits hard enough. Give it the Life Orb, it's hitting 10 times harder. It's got Moon Blast, it's got Shadow Ball, Protect, and Dazzling Gleam. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Glamorin. This is my second time using it on the rank ladder. The first time I used it was in series one. Had a lot of fun with it and it was actually really strong on the special attack side. So hopefully it stays the same and it can dominate in series two. It has Toxic Debris as its ability, the Focus Ash as its item. And it's got Earth Power, Energy Ball, Power Jam, and Spiky Shield, which is a protect, but if a physical attack move hits it, it actually takes damage. So pretty cool move. Really, really cool move. Final Pokemon is going to be Iron Moth over here, and Iron Moth is another great special attacker for this team with Quirk Drive and the Booster Energy as its item and ability. It's got Acid Spray to drop special defense, Heat Wave for stab damage, Overheat for heavy stab damage, and then last but not least, we got Protect on this Pokemon. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Glamora Series 2 team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Warring Moon team with Garchomp, Rotom Heat, Fluttermane, Intimidate, Arcanine, and then last but not least, they have the Golden Go. Who should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like special attackers are going to be good considering they have Intimidate on that Arcanine. Glamour is actually not bad here. Super effective up against a few, so I kind of like this Pokemon. I kind of really like this Pokemon. We also have the Grass Move, which isn't super effective on anything, but if Garchomp does Terrasilize in the ground, could be good. Could definitely be good, but do I lead the Fluttermane? I could lead the Fluttermane. I kind of want to lead Glamora. I don't really want to lead a physical attacker because of Arcanine. So Glamora's going to come out here. And then I could actually lead Gambit. He is a physical attacker, but he does have Defiance. So that kind of counters up onto the Intimidate. So I could do that. But I think I'd rather have somebody a bit faster. Maybe like Iron Moth can come out here. Then if he goes Arcanine, Arcanine could be a problem. Arcanine could be a big time problem. So I feel like... I feel like Gambit kind of counters a lot here. And then we can go in with our two Paradox Pokemon and leave the Don Dozo and Tasugiri combo in the back end. Makes the most sense, right? I'm feeling good with this one. I'm feeling real good. Because they don't really have Speak Control, do they? Besides maybe the Roaring Moon. But if they lead the Roaring Moon, I could just Terrasilize into Fairy and rip into that thing. Which could be awesome. But we'll see. We'll see what they want to end up doing. So I doubt they Terrasilize, right? If like if these Pokemon are on the field and Roaring Moon comes out here. I doubt it would Terrasilize. But he just goes Garchomp and... And what's it called? And Rotom Heat. The Garchomp and Rotom Heat come out here. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I could Energy Ball into that thing. I could tear it in the ground too. The problem here is I will get one shot. If he just protects. I could protect actually this turn instead of Terrasilize and drop a Spiky Shield. I feel like a will o -Wisp has to come out here. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to Spiky Shield here. And I am going to Terrasilize, and I'm going to hope that this Garchomp just stays the same here. And we can level into it. Hopefully, hopefully Chomp isn't Terrasilizing. And Chomp is not Terrasilizing, unless he has the same character as me. But no, awesome. Chomp is not Terrasilizing. <laughs> it was just huge. If I can rip in this, I'm going to love it. Because this is exactly what I wanted to do when I first saw this King Gambit. I was just like, dude, how come a lot of people aren't using this? I feel like it throws off so many opponents. But we're going to Spiky Shield up here. He might be will o -Wisp me. Now he goes for an EQ. So he goes for a straight EQ, and that's totally fine. No terrestrialization, which is big time for us. So EQ is not going to kill my uh my game because we terrestrialize, which is great. 
And then he's going to overheat also. And that's going to drop your special attack. And we eat that as well. Woo! We like that. Unless I think it's a check pack. Could be. It's not. But Terror Blast flying through here. Can we pick up the KO? Can we just rip into this thing? Oh, come on now. I do have Sucker Punch. I do have Sucker Punch, which is good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for a Sucker Punch. But I'm just going to do that. And just try to drop this thing. Probably my best bet, right? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. But still, yo, that was a great call for us. Terrasalize there. Ate up an overheat and ate up an EQ. Plus, we spiky shield as well, which was solid. Which was very, very solid. So, if Garchomp wants to move, we're just going to take it out. But he ends up swapping. That's totally fine. I feel like the Rotom can't KO any of my Pokemon. He might just start throwing burns around. But that's about it. So, I think I just keep sucker punching the Flutter main until it, uh, until it moves, right? Power Jump's going to fly. We outspeed the Rotom. And we chunk up some nice damage. We were just teeing off some damage here. Thunderbolts can come through here. We should be able to soak that as well. Assault Vest, I love you. Assault Vest, I love you. Uh, from here, I might... Hmm. What do I do? I think I just power jump into this thing. I want to double down in the Flutter main. I'm doubling straight down in the Flutter main. Yep, I'm doubling straight down in the Flutter main. And the reason I'm doing that is because I... I... What's going on? I'm not worried about the Rotom. Because Rotom's minus two on special attack. And if I can KO this Flutter main, it's forced to stay on the field and not be able to swap out. Actually, no, I forgot he swapped the Garchomp. But Power Jump comes out here and we take out a stronger Pokemon. We're killing it right now. That Terrasalize from King Gambit was huge. It was ridiculously big. Because now we have Rotom Heat down on pretty much like one HP. Same thing with a Garchomp. And I can bring out my faster Pokemon, which would be like Flutter main and all that. But he has a Paralyzed Michael Lamora. That's fine. And who do I bring out here? Be the Flutter main, right? What's your speed? 194. Yeah, you're outspeeding everything except for one Pokemon. And that would be the Roaring Moon. And that would be the Roaring Moon. If he has Roaring Moon with booster energy. That would be the only way he outspeeds me. But I'm just gonna swap into Flutter Moon. It seems like the right player. Let's see who they end up sending out. It's gonna be Garchomp again. And that's pretty much GG's. Right? I outspeed, I can double KO with Get Daz and Gleam. Good game, kind sirs. Good game. And do I just swap into Iron Moth at this point? I think that's our best bet. Swap into Iron Moth. Drop it as a lean. Right? Yeah. Picks up. It's game. It's game. Our opponent's probably going to cancel her. I wouldn't be surprised to see him cancel. <laughs> but yo, what a first match. We just ripped into our opponent. King Gambit with Terrasalization. It was light work. And the reason we're swapping here is because Glamour is going to go last, well, before or after Fluttermane. And Fluttermane's going to pick up the KO, so Glamour is going to get no value out. So we might as well swap it to our stronger Pokemon and have him ready for the next turn. The Speed Titan with the Quirk Drive and Booster Energy. Gleam's going to fly out here. And there's a double KO. Light work. It's light work around these parts. Light work around these parts. And I'm glad I got out of Glamoura. Glamoura's sick. I really do like Glamoura. But we dropped the Rotom. We dropped the Garchomp. We're going to see his final Pokemon. And I wonder who it's going to be. I wonder who it's going to be. But we have two absolute units out here that no Pokemon can take out. It's going to be Roar Moon. So Roar Moon, I can't believe he waited this long to actually use the Roar Moon. Which is really weird. It's definitely really weird. But from here, I am just going to straight up Acid Spray this thing. And... I don't know if we outspeed. I might just protect this turn. There's a reason I want to Acid Spray this lower that thing's Special Defense. That's true. We'll go for an attacking move. He's probably going to end up Terrasalize, and we're going to Acid Spray. Minus two on that special uh, special defense. I have more in the back end as well. This thing has no double-hitting moves. We got this one on maps. He might, he might KO one or two of my Pokemon, but we got this match. We got this match. Faux show. Faux show. So he ends up Terrasalizing. There's the air. And he's probably just going to go for Acrobats, right? Acid Spray comes out first. It's good to know that we outspeed that thing, too. There we go. Minus two on special offense. Love that move. And we outspeed it regardless. So Moonblast flies here and it just picks up the KO. No problem. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a 1-0 start. Big time win from us. Let's hop into our second match. Look to go back to back. Hopping into our second match. Going up against a Trick Room team with Iron Hands, Farigraph, who is an insane Trick Room setter. And then they got Arcanine, Gargonackle, Mimikyu, and Amoongus. So they're either going to lead Farigraph or Mimikyu. I think Farigraph is going to come out here. Probably alongside with like Iron Hands. So I kind of want to go into like a ghost type Pokemon. Which would be you. Just so we can block the Protect. Or not the Protect. We can block the uh, Fake Out. And then I could go into Glamora just to Spiky Shield. I mean, that's not a bad call. It's not terrible. I could also bring Don Doza, who could be solid. 
by himself because his speed's so slow. Like, that's not a bad call right there. I also like Gambit here because obviously they're going to get up Trick Room. Trick Room is inevitable here, so it might be a problem. It might be a problem. What's your speed, Clamora? The one you know, we're going to do this. Like, Trick Room's inevitable. We can't counter Trick Room here. Cannot counter Trick Room. But can we do something else? Are we going to need... We might need Iron Moth here. I think you have Grass Terror too, right? No, you're Ghost. Hmm. Actually... Do I have time to do this? Yes, this is what I want. I got a plan. I got a plan because I have a weird feeling they're going into Iron Hands and for Rigoraf. And if he's going to fake out one of my Pokemon, such as Iron Moth, I can Thrasilize into Ghost, dodge the fake out, Acid Spray, lower the special defense, and then dump on for Rigoraf. That's if he leads these two. There, there's the lead. There's the lead. There is the lead. So obviously he's sitting here. He's just like, oh, I want to get off Trick Room. I want to get off Trick Room. Blah, 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 blah. So he's like, I'm, I can't fake out the Fluttermane. I'm going to fake out the Iron Moth. But little does he know. Little does he know. That we are going to do this. And then we are going to terrestrialize And dodge the fake out. And then acid spray. Lower the special defense. And then dump on this free graph. Hope, hope. This will be play of the year. This will be play of the year if we pull this off. Reading his lead and reading his moves. This could be play of the year. We have we have a chance. We have a play of the year alert right now. We have a chance for it. Chance for play of the year. There's the acid spray. And this moon blast KO. We have life for him. Play of the year. That's it. Video's over. See you guys later. Play of the year. Play of the year. Play of the year. Play of the year. Play of the year right there. Play of the year. That's all I'm going to say. It's over. It's over. I'm the best. I'm the best to ever do it. Best to ever do it. That play was insane. Read it from the get-go. I had like 10 seconds left to pick my team. Once I saw that this uh, Iron Moth had Ghost Terra, I swapped my whole team. I was like, yo, he's leading for Rigorath, leading the Iron Hands, going to be forced to pick out the Iron Moth. We're terrestrializing, lowering special defense, and then dumping on that thing. Play of the year. Uh, I'm just going to Acid Spray this thing down. Gargle Knackle. Actually, you know what? We're going to double down to Iron Hands. Screw Iron Hands. Screw Iron Hands. I have done those in the back end. Oh, and he protects. Oh, my God. Getting after it. We're getting after it. Iron Hands going to die here, too. We might one-shot Iron Hands here. Technically two-shot, but we lowered special defense to minus two. Then Moon Blast, super effective life orb. This combo. <laughs> this combo is crazy. Play of the year, yo. Insane. Insane. Nominated. Is, is there Pokemon Awards for plays of the year? Because I want to be in it. I want to be in it. I want to be in it. Amoongus coming out here. I'm not worried about it. Because I'm going to just start uh, chopping down this thing. And I kind of want to just go Shadow Balls. Because he could end up terrestrializing in the ghost here. And she's going to terrestrialize in water, I believe. I feel like this thing terrestrializes in water. I'm just going to keep acid spraying this thing. Battle was just straight up canceled. Clean sweep. That was actually a perfect sweep. We took no damage and we made the play of the year. Come on now. What more do you guys want? If you guys are not subscribed to like the video yet, that last battle deserves the like or sub. Come on. Get on top of that. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Going up against a Titar and Garchomp team with Sandy Shocks, Sandrush, Houndstone. Uh, what is that Pokemon? Stantler? You're rocking Stantler? What does that Pokemon do? And then he also has Glamora just like us. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like Don Dozo and Tasigiri are definitely going to be really good up against this guy. Um, Sandstorm is going to be a problem. It's definitely going to be a problem. So I'm just trying to think of ways we can kind of go around it. Gambit's not going to be bad with Terrestrialization. So I might want to lead that. Might want to lead Gambit alongside with... With Fluttermane here, right? It seems like our best bet. Fluttermane, Gambit, and then the Don Dozo-Tasigiri combo in the back end. 
could really be good for us. But Sandy Shocks is a problem. It's a problem, and we can't. I don't. I don't even think we can outspeed it with plus two, right? Yeah, we won't even be able to outspeed that thing after my boy hops into that. But our special defense should be able to help us out enough to be able to get off an EQ, eat up a Thunderbolt, and kind of just dump on it. So I'm with it. But we're two and zero. We're two and zero. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. I still can't believe I just called that whole play out last time. Like I saw, like once I saw Ghost on my Iron Moth, it's like, oh, it's over. I know exactly who you're leading. I know exactly what's going on here. I read this dude's mind. It was like I legit was at his house and was watching his screen that he was playing. <laughs> but he ends up going with Titar and Glamora. And I believe Titar was the one with the airplane, right? Actually, it could be Glamora. Probably was Glamora. But I just feel like a Gleam here is probably your play. Actually, I could straight up Moonblast you down. Yeah, I'm gonna moon blast and then I can just iron head here. So if anyone's gonna swap or uh, terrasite, it's gonna be you. I could gleam as well, but I don't think gleam's gonna be a play. I think he might flying terror here, right? I'm just gonna iron head in this slot. Let's do it. The spiky shields can come out here. Okay, so smart low play from him. And no terrasalization, so moon blast might just KO here. Kinda dumb just leaving your T Tar in there like that, but mm, okay, this thing's vested. This thing is definitely vested. Unless he was there. Yeah, no. Lamore is the one with the air balloon. That thing's vested right now. That thing's soaking up shots. And he ends up flinching me. And that's actually good because I don't hit the spiky shield. I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. So from here, I'm just going to Shadow Ball. Actually, no. Do I Shadow Ball this thing? And read to Protect? I mean, Gleam will KO that T-Tar, so I'm just going to Gleam that slot, and I'm just going to Iron Head across the board here. To the Glamora. There's Protect. That's exactly why I ended up Gleaming. I could have swapped the Flutterman, which could have been a good call. But I feel like T-Tar is going to come out here very, very soon, and that's when I could Terrasalize it into my, uh... That's when I Terrasalize into my Fairy Typing and rip into it. But I pop the Air Balloon, I lose some HP. Glamour's gonna go next and just take out my Fluttermane. Which is totally fine because now our opponent's like, okay, if my Glamour goes down. Oh, he's gonna set up Toxic Debris though, which sucks. Toxic Debris type nice. But do we KO? We do. But now he's probably sitting here like, yo, let me bring out Garchomp and get ripping with it. Because he's like, okay, no fairy type on the field. And then I can Thrasilize my Gambit. Rip into fairy typing, drop a Terrible Blast if need be. And we can go from there. And from here, I could go Tatsu. Tatsu's not bad. Tatsu's not bad. Little gummy fish. Well, I can go Don Dozo. And I could swap the Gambit. I could swap the Gambit. But you know, I'm going to go Don Dozo here. I have leftovers. I can always protect it. Yeah, I'm with Don Dozo over Tatsu Giri. I'm with Don Dozo over Tatsu Giri. Let me throw out our big catfish boy. And he's going to probably throw out Garchomp, correct? Make the most sense? Yeah, Garchomp comes out here. So I end up taking some toxic that kind of hurts the soul. And, uh, hmm. I'm just gonna protect here. I'm just gonna protect and I'm going to Terrasalize it. I'm just gonna drop a Terror Blast and rip into this Garchomp. Let's well, Garchomp Terrasalizing, which is possible, but I don't think he is. Because then he's just gonna kill his T-Tar, because T-Tar can't protect unless he's going for Double Protect. But he ends up Terrasalizing. Mm. Stay straight, Dragon, please. Oh, you go T-Tar. That's fine. That's fine by me. You go Titar. That's that's definitely fine by me. So he ends up terrasalizing the Titar. No protection from the Chomp, please. And thank you. So let's terrasalize him right in the fairy. And I doubt he's protecting, right? I mean, he just terrasalized in the fairy. He wants to drop EQs to take out my Gambit. We're terrasalizing straight in the fairy. I'm about it. I'm getting after it. And then I can always swap, or I can just drop uh, that thing with Sucker Punches. We're playing real good right now. I'm just thinking extra. My brain's feeling good. Everything about it. There's the EQ. We're going to be able to soak that up. No problem. I doubt he doubles down into my King Gambit, right? I doubt you double down into my King Gambit. But we soaked that all day. Yes. Like I said, I doubt you double down into King Gambit. He's doubling down into Don Dozo. And now I got this very terrible ass going into Garchomp. Can we KO this one? The last one we did in Battle Number 1 came close to KO. But it did not pick up the KO. This one does the same thing. Right down to the red, which hurts. I mean, I have Sucker Punch ready to go to take that out. Um, what could I do here? I think I just Sucker Punch the Garchomp and then I 
hit the T-Tar with my Don Dozo. It makes the most sense. Unless he wants to double protect, I mean. I feel fine. I feel, I feel good with this. I'm feeling good with this. We'll drop a nice little order up. We'll go for the Sucker Punch into you. And one of them's going to protect. And if not, they're dead. They do not protect. They're dead. <laughs> they are dead. So we get rid of Chomp. We still have Tazagiri in the back end. Making Don Dozo 10 times stronger. Order up. We outspeed this thing already. And, oh, are you kidding me? This thing's going to get off another shot. He's going to be able to Terror Blast. That's fine. You going into my Gambit? No, he sticks with my Don Dozo. Don Dozo soaks pretty well. And T-Tar's going to go down to uh, Sandstorm damage. Wow, we're playing crazy today. We're playing so good. So good. So good. So good. So T-Tar goes down to buff and say I have one left. I can legit rip into it with both these. Or I can swap my Tasugiri in. Just to get down those of the buffs. But we'll see who they want to go into. Because I would think they would cancel battle, right? I would think they would cancel battle. It would make the most sense. But let's see what Pokemon they go into. They have no terror. It's going to be Houndstone with Sand Rush. Uh, I think we might need... Actually... Can I just, like... Actually, EQ is not super effective. I could just wave crash and I could just drop a sucker punch. Like, it's GG's. It's over with. I got to keep my King Gambit in here. It's game set match. Ends up protecting. I, I don't I don't see the point in that, but... Yeah, it, it, we got this one on lock. Houndstone, I don't think has any double hitting moves. Or at least the Houndstone that I used on Series 2 ladder. Has no double hitting moves. But Sucker Punch should just rip into this thing and take it out. Right? Unless it's sashed. Which, uh, there is a possibility. But then we have Tasugiri in the back of a choice scarf. We, the Sandstorm's going to be over soon. It's, 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 just, it's just over. It's just good game. It's just good game. We don't even need the little Tatsu Gummy. We don't need it. It's like that, uh, what is that? A Fortnite clip. I forget the dude's name, but he used to do Fortnite content. He's like, we don't need that. We don't need that. It was like a big shield. And then he got shot. He's like, oh, we need that, my man. <laughs> I forget his name, but he used to be so funny. I'll go into a Sucker Punch. I'll go into Wave Crash, and our opponent just cancels the battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We made play of the year today, and we grabbed ourselves a perfect record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a 3-0 perfect record on the channel yet again. It feels like a little bit since I got my last perfect record, but glad to get that one on the channel and dominate every single battle. We got King Gammon out there with the Fairy Terror, which I absolutely love. Don Dozo and Tatsugiri got some work in there, and then Fluttermane, Iron Moth, and Glamora just carried the squad. Absolutely love those Pokemon and made some great plays with them. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.